Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And today we're gonna to be talking about a new update that just came out uh, for the Dash to Blender bridge. And this time it supports Genesis 8.1, but most importantly, I think, is that the support for native animation. If you have animated your character inside of uh, Dash Studio, you'll be able to upload, uh, not, not upload, but to transfer that animation directly from DAS into Blender. Before, you had to export an FBX with animation and, and then import it into Blender. But this uh, new bridge makes it possible. So what I'm going to do, uh, sorry, it makes it possible to transfer that animation. And also it restores the rig because before we had a rig that was visible and the previous build there was you oh, you could see where the bonds but the rig has been restored so now you can move the character around after even with the animation on it and so today i'm going to try to send this animation that i did in Dell studio uh, using the face motion uh, plugin and see if it can actually go into blender okay and guys if you are new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when i post a new video hit that notification bell right up there <laughs> and to all my subscribers thank you so much uh, i truly appreciate it. it's amazing how far we've come and thank you to all my patrons i truly truly appreciate your support all right let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and let's close this so this is the animation inside of Daz Studio, and I'm using Daz 4.15 Pro, okay? And you can see the character is animated. Let me try to play it right here, so you can see it. Okay, and let's do a quick eye ray preview, because I want to see also if the texture has been improved, because in the past, when you would send a character to a Blender from at Dial Studio, it would it looked like metallic, like shiny. So we'll see if it is staying true to this uh, shader here, and to see how a black character looks, the character of a darker skin shade looks. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open Blender. I'm using Blender 2.91.1.0, and I know 2.92 has come out. <laughs> And by the, probably by the time you watch this video, it might be even a different version, but uh, this should work for 2.9 and above. Okay, so um, I've already installed this uh, Dash to Blender add-on. So please make sure that you have that installed. I already have a, a video showing how to install that and I'll link that in the description of the video. Okay, so there's a major difference once you go here and you want to send it to Blender, you see the difference. Uh, let me turn off NVIDIA, got smooth shaded. And if your animation is long, this process is going to take a long time. So I've kind of, uh, this full animation is about 2000 frames. So I've tried to make it shorter. Uh, so it's from 188 to 424 frames. So so that you see, I, I just want to show the process and how it works with the animation on the body and also the facial animation on the character sent to Blender without having to use the FBX export. So my character is selected. We'll go to scripts up at the top, go to bridges, Blender, and then click on Daz to Blender. And this still, this one looks the same uh, in this update. So this is the 2.1 update. And so actually, let me cancel this real quick. If you don't, if you to make sure you check before you do this process, go to your Daz Central. Okay, and look at the version in inside of uh, the list of uh, the plugins for the DAS bridges and check, make, make sure you have the most recent update because if you don't have that update, this process is not going to work. Okay, so let me see if uh, how long this is going to take. Uh, it's probably updating all the different models <laughs> that I've downloaded. But uh, like I was saying that uh, make sure that you check the build and if you go to back here, uh, you can get it, get started. If you don't have the update yet, make sure you click on get started for free and you'll be able to download it here. If it's uh, if you've logged into your account, you'll be able to download it. It will tell you that you probably need the Dust Central process and uh, go ahead and uh, download it. Okay. 
again i have another video showing exactly what to do and so go to your DAS central make sure you check to on your uh, DAS to blender build uh, wait for it and make sure this is the newest build the 2.1.0 and if it's not make sure you update or install it here okay so now that it's updated and we know for sure that it, we have the right one i can go back to DAS studio and go to scripts bridges blender DAS to blender and I'm used choosing a Genesis 8.3. There's no environment in this scene. If there were an environment, then I would select both of them. So we're only sending one character in this uh, Genesis 8 model. Click accept. And this is important. So this is the most important update now. If you have animation on your character, is make sure you check include animation data and uh, also make sure the level of subdivision is zero. Okay. Animation data, make sure it's selected and then click accept. And also accept, include minimal morphs and click accept. And let it go through the process. Uh, depending on the speed of your machine, uh, it, might, it might take a long time or it might just be like quick like that. So depending on the length of the animation, once it gets to the part where it's exporting the animation, you can see the timeline here with a playback head moving from left to right. And right now you can see it's starting to export the animation. There's a little playback head moving. And so that animation, the original animation is at 2000 frames. So had I tried to export the entire animation, we would still be waiting for a long, long time. So I tried to shorten it and do like a, a, a shorter range so that we this uh, part of the video doesn't take too long. But I'm going to let you let this go through so that you have an idea of like if you had a length of this animation, how long it might take you to export the animation. So in case you think it's not working, it's important to see, to give it time like the animation uh, progress bar here show you how much has, has been sent okay and uh, uh, this is exciting because before you know it was kind of uh, tedious and cumbersome to fast export as an fpx then there are so many things that you had to and not no many things but a number of things that you had to uncheck once you got to blender but the fact that now you can just export the animation just one check mark and making sure that uh, that's included it's going to be a time saver for especially for blender users and also for those of you who use uh, da studio and want to send your uh, character to blender either for faster rendering or for using ev or cycles i think this is a good way this is a good approach to use uh, using the dust to blender uh, bridge at uh, the updated version okay so we are almost done 97 percent 98 99 and we're done okay so this part of the process is done and now we can go to blender okay and i'm gonna click on import new character so the import new genesis 3 8 uh, because we don't have an environment we just need the character go ahead and click on import now the character is going to come in like about this height so if you want it to be bigger than that and you, the size is 100 then you make sure you check this checkbox right here and i'm actually going to check that so that you see how big the character is and i'm going to click on import okay and then let that uh, little indicator tell you how much has been imported <laughs> and, and there goes that little funny thing you know so sometimes it looks like it uh, it has hung up and okay so there's there's an issue and i'm glad this actually happened guys so this let's uh, turn off the cube right here so this is gonna happen if your character has been uh, has like a, for example let me go back to the studio this character has let's rewind go to perspective view it's a he's like an android part machine part human being so these issues these are gonna create issues and uh, it's kind of uh, i mean it i hope they fix it but because i wanted to send this full character to uh blender <laughs> and so what I, I would actually have to do for this to work is to remove the arms so the, the cyber arm that one i literally have to delete this 
okay and also this one the cyber arm to the let's see cyber arm left arm partial delete that and i think i also have to delete the head let's try the head uh, because i mean I, I really i'm hoping i'm hoping that they we are able to actually export these characters with the uh, the extensions uh, because I think when you apply those arms, those are uh, Android arms and sci-fi arms, it hides the the mesh and that causes the problems with this uh, dust to blender bridge. So let's uh, re rewind and I'm gonna take off the face as well because I pretty much am aware that, that that's the problem. Let's go ahead and play back just to make sure the animation is still there. Okay, so go ahead and uh, select uh, the character again. Scripts, bridges, does to Blender, Genesis 8, accept, zero, include animation data, accept, and same thing, include minimal morphs, accept, and let it go through same 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 problem uh that <laughs> i encountered in the past there was one time that i tried to export this uh like uh, sci-fi character and i was like man it's not uh going in and by the way do you notice that it's actually moving faster because this that animation was on uh, the full body and those arms were cre uh, were kind of heavy so this is going to take a little bit a shorter time than with all those uh, extensions so it, just make sure that uh, you know you check on compatibility of which models are working with that specific uh, a bridge. So dials to Blender bridge, uh, as you can see that there was some issue with this character having those uh, arms. So we'll go back to Blender and let's do and create a new file. Don't save. Let's go to the dials to Blender add-on. Uh, let's do scale and import new. Genesis 8 and let's see if this works <clears throat> if my theory is correct then the issue definitely is uh, those arm extensions and also the the sci-fi looking component of the head that's causing the problem but uh, this should work because now the character only has animation which is what the main uh, this video was about the main uh, point is that uh, animation is now supported inside of that uh, does to blender bridge so uh, this thing that I was talking about, that little indicator of the progress. So Blender hasn't crashed yet. Just have to be patient and allow it to process whatever is going on in the background, especially with this uh, does to Blender bridge. Just uh, be patient. You just have to be, to wait it out. And I'm, I'm always looking forward to when they'll add and a lack a visual indicator like percentage wise so that you're not you're not stuck here because up in the left hand corner you can see, you see it's saying blender is not responding and that that can be kind of uh, frustrating and scary at times and you can actually try to do control or delete or whatever to go to task manager but you don't need to do that yet just give it time it's actually gonna work and like as always i don't i train i tend not to pause these videos so that you get a sense of how long this process takes so i don't want you to get scared and think that oh my gosh my computer is hung up blender is not gonna work with this but uh just give it time and for this one i think because of the length of the animation that's why it's taking a little bit longer so <laughs> okay there we go uh the uh, the patient's paid off guys and so the character is in uh, Blender right now. And what is cool is now you can see the rig is here. And you can see that all the components are it's, it's slightly off. And that's probably because of uh, the percentage. I brought in the character at 100%. But clearly, I mean, you can see the, the rig is there. OK. And so I'm going to go to Object Mode. And let's see, first of all, uh, what the character looks like with cycles. And already you can see the improvement of the texturing. You can see the normal maps are working much better. Whereas before it looked like just smooth. You couldn't even tell you know, some of these things that were on the, 
like if you had like a, a, a scar or something like that, it wasn't showing properly, right? And so I'm gonna switch to Eevee because that's gonna be a faster preview. And there we go. So now I can actually zoom in and you can see how the texture has been greatly, greatly improved with this new build. I mean, all the, you can see the normal maps, right? Just like they, they look like in a blend, uh, sorry, in Dust Studio. So this is a big, big update because before the, the texturing was a, a big, big issue. So let me go ahead and add a, a light, a light, uh, it's a point light and let's move it up and increase uh, the brightness. I know it's just uh, one. Let's move it over here. All right, let's do turn that down a little bit. All right, so already you can see the improvement on the character. So I highly, highly recommend this update, guys, because uh, first of all, the texture maps are looking much better and the animation is actually working. So let's go ahead and play. So you can see the eyes moving, the character is blinking. Now it looks like the eyes may need like some a subdivision there we go. All right, let's see. End point, let's do four, 500 frames. All right, because I wanted to see the whole animation, see if the mouth actually moves. The eyes are moving. Come on now, talk. Yes. So the facial animation has come in, the body animation is there, and uh, that is what I wanted to show you guys, that you don't have to export as an FBX file. You can actually send the animation data into Blender and the character is greatly, greatly improved. The texturing is looking better for sure. And as you can see in uh, Eevee, it's looking beautiful. So I hope this was helpful guys. So when you get a chance, uh, please go to the uh, update for the the DAS to Blender Bridge website on DAS3D.com and update and also check in your DAS Central to make sure you update your DAS to Blender Bridge and you'll be able to export your animations into from DAS Studio into Blender and as you notice there was some issue with the the arms, like once I put on those um, extensions for the character, those ones are compatible with this uh, dust to, ble to Blender Bridge. So hopefully that will be updated. But the best thing is that you can send the animation, the facial animation, and just be careful as you're selecting your character that you have a, a model that is actually compatible with this uh, bridge. So see you next time with another quick insight, guys. And uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're lighted when, you, when I post a new video. And uh, as always, stay safe. Uh, dare to dream big and don't give up on your dreams, guys. Much love and bye for now.